Hello, this lesson is nonlinear data on the calculator. Our previous lesson was using Fathom to linearize data, but on the AP exam, we don't have Fathom. We just have our calculator. So let's figure out how to deal with this on the calculator. So take a second and pause the video and type this data into your list one and list two on your TI 8384. Now, once you have that data in, uh, what we want to do is just take those data and find the least squares regression line. So we're going to uh, hit stat, calc. I like number 8, L1, L2. And we're going to calculate. And so our least squares regression line is going to be y hat is equal to negative 9.5 plus rb, which is, let's say, 3.2x. Now, it's always good to label our x's and y's. So x is going to be the radius. And y hat, we need to say predicted price. Because we're trying to predict that price based on the radius. So now that I have that, I have my equation. Now I want to look at the residual plot. So let's go up here and we're going to make a scatter plot of L1 and residual. And mine already said residual. If yours didn't say residual, you hit second stat and go down till you find residual and put it in there. And now when you hit zoom nine, your graph should look like this. Hopefully you see that there's a curve here in the graph. It starts out high, data below, and then up high. So that means our data isn't the best. So we can pull it over here. Uh, now, if we, now let's just do a quick sketch of this. It doesn't need to be perfect. We just want to be able to do something like that. Actually, we just do this. That's our goal. It's just that we have a good graph of the data. Now, is a mat linear model good? No. Uh, there is a curve in the residual plot. So now we have to see if we can linearize this data. So now what I want to do is log both my x and my y values. So in L3, I'm going to hit log of L1. And I do that, I have to go all the way up to L3 before I do this, or else it'll give me an error. Most people that get an error say, but this isn't working in my calculator. And that's because they're typing it in on this first row. And that you can't type an equation here. They're just looking for numbers. If you want an equation, move up. So our log of L1 is there. In L4, I move up to L4, and I hit log of L2. And now the first thing we want to do is we want to have the log of price and our variable. So I'm going to do a linear regression with L1 and L4. Because L4 is the log of price, L1 is my regular x values. So once I do this, I calculate. I have this linear regression. Now, instead of just saying that's the uh, the y equals, now it's the log of y equals, or the log of price is equal to my a, which is negative 0 0.027, plus our b, which is 0.1477, times the radius. Now, you can either write it like this, or plug in log of x and or log of y and x, and then define them later. Now, if I want to transform this into an exponential function, I need to take the 10 to each power. All right, we take 10 to each power, or to each side, and so 10 to the log of price, and then 10 to the negative 0.027, times 10 to the 0.1477 times radius. 
Now, 10 to the log of price, it's just price. Oh, I should say predicted price. And then over here we have 10 to the negative 0 0.027. And then 10 to the 0 0.1477. <coughs> so we have 0.9 three nine to the one point four and that radius still stays up in the exponent because we weren't able to deal with that at all. So that is our equation. Now uh, to look and see if that's a reasonable graph here, now we do a step a linear regression of L1 and resid again. And it kind of looks like this kind of below the line, above the line, below the line. It doesn't look a lot better than the previous graph residual plot. So uh, we'll want to uh, graph, uh, look, look for some more uh, residual plots. Now, uh, the calculation ha calculator has another function called exponential regression. Uh, since this is an exponential function, if I do an exponential regression, which is here, you go to calc, go down to exponential regression of L1 and L2. I should have something like this, 0.939, 1.4 for my A and my B. That way, uh, it saves you from linearizing the data. But it's good to know how to do that, because sometimes um, we just get something like this, and we don't have all the data to do an exponential regression on. So our exponential regression tells us that we did our data, our linearization correctly, so we can feel comfortable with that. Next, since our residual, oh, now it says sketch the residual plot. Uh, I got ahead of myself there. Uh, so our, we, we had our residual plot, and, oh, that wasn't the residual plot we were looking for. The residual plot, was how we, that we did a regression. Now we have to go back and do a residual plot for L1, L4. And now do a zoom nine. This is our graph. Looks something like that. Kind of goes down, up and down. Is that a good model? And I'd say no. There's curves in the residual plot. Uh, so now our last thing is what happens if we log both of the axes. So now if I uh, do a resid uh, linear regression with L3, L4, that's the log of the X and the log of the Y. And now if I bring this data down, we can linearize it. But now let's just look and see that scatter plot. That doesn't look too awesome, but it's much better than the previous ones. So that is our residual plot. It's a little bit better. It, it doesn't have much of a curve. It just kind of, there's no discernible pattern that I see. So now when we write this, now this is the log of price, because we're using L4, is equal to our A, which is negative 0.637, uh, plus pretty much 2 times our radius. Nope, it's the log of radius. And now to transform it, I do 10 to each power, so 10 to the log of price equal to 10 to the negative 0.637 times 10 to the 2 log of radius. And 10 to the log of price is just price. And this is our predicted price, so it's always good to say that. And then we have 10 to the negative 0.637. 
and then uh, 10 to the log of radius just leaves us with radius and a 2 is left in the exponent. Now one thing we could do is do a power regression. So if I hit stats, uh, go here to power regression, which is right below the exponential regression. Now this one we want to do a power regression with the original data, L1 and L2. And again, you can see that that gives us the same data, 0.23, and our B is going to be squared. So this just is a shortcut to get here. Uh, so if you have the data, you can do that, but it's good to know how to linearize it, or to use the logs to get there. And we already looked at this, the residual plot, and is that a good model? Yes, residuals do not have a, a pattern. All right, and that's how to do it on your calculator.